those sultanas and the apple. Oh my god, so I'm in heaven. Up over there as well. I can away. I actually kept this because I wanted to show you, but I've eaten the whole bar. Which is amazing, but honestly, I'm obsessed with this dish. I know it's weird. Then this is gonna get even weirder. The moment of truth. She's going in my little on and it's still got cheese on it from the other day. So I just taking a massive, massive turn. Hello honeys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name is Imogen. Welcome to my channel. I don't know how you found me, but please, please definitely stay. I'm really excited for this video because we have a what I eat in a day from breakfast, snacks, lunch, dinner, evening snacks, we have it all. If you are like me and you have a stomach condition, then this video will definitely help you. But if you're also like me and you just like food, then definitely keep watching. This is a dairy-free, gluten-free, majority soy-free, but not fun-free or taste-free video because I can't have dairy, soy, wheat, gluten, all that jazz. I also can only have a certain amount of certain things, so I can't have too much broccoli, I can't have too much sweet potato. So hopefully you enjoy videos like this. If you do, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you also like it, please definitely subscribe for my channel. I'd be so grateful. I'm so excited to show you what I've been cooking. I love cooking and since I got diagnosed seven years ago with my stomach I really gave up on loving food because I felt like I'm gonna miss out But you don't have to miss out and there are a little bit of ups and downs with my stomach pain in this video So bear with me also just quickly before we start the video I want to show you this I haven't actually used anything in this video with this book But I love this book my friend Lucy got it for me It's the green roasting tin vegan and vegetarian dinners and if you like meat I add meat in I only eat chicken turkey and fish I don't eat any other meat except chicken and turkey so so sometimes I don't even add meat in, but this is amazing. I'll link it down in the description below if you want to see it. But they also have a meat one. It's just so easy. It's literally in one tin. Amazing. Let's go. Good morning, Huns. I look horrendous. And I... Oh, yeah, they're prickly. Wonderful. Anyway, good morning. We are about to do a what I eat in the day. And I've got gym gear on. I've never been to the gym. But I feel like it gets me in the motivation and it sets the tone for the day. If I'm in gym gear, I'm going to have a very good day. Might sound pathetic, but that is the way it is. So... First things first, here she goes. This is the dream. This is this. This is this. I have every morning and throughout the day, this has saved my life. This is turmeric gold. You can get loads of different ones. I've got different ones in there. And this is an organic golden blend of finest turmeric, lemon fruit, and green tea. It is unbelievable. So I read up ages ago that turmeric is better than ibuprofen for pain. And if you suffer with a lot of gastric stuff or you suffer with just anything to do with intestines, your stomach condition, bloating, turmeric is like a lifesaver. When I have pain in my colon and it's really really super painful. I literally drink this tea like it's going out of fashion. I also take a little bit of honey even though my honey's crystallized. And when I mean a little bit, I'm like, and oh no, I can't do it with one hand. Yes, you can. Go on, you're in your gym gear, love. Do it. There she goes. Put as much honey as you want, but honestly, turmeric tea is amazing. I let this sit for about five minutes in there and then I add a bit of cold water and it's just, you might not like the taste, but it's unbelievable. We're gonna start with breakfast. I'm very excited for breakfast. It is my favorite meal of the day probably because I make it super sweet and I love breakfast. Right, so here she goes, Huns. We're taking about 200, 250 milliliters of water. You wait, you're gonna love this. By the way, <laughs> this is disgusting. I live in a rented property. It's not very nice, I know. But that is also stained from baked beans. I'm the worst. So we're gonna take 250 milliliters of water. Then I have cut up chunks of apple here. This isn't for just now. This is for like the whole week. I love skin on apples. I don't really like taking the skin off, but if you wanna do this, you can take the skin off. I'm gonna add the apples and drop them all over. Wonderful. Into my lovely concoction over it. I feel like Jamie Oliver right now. Do I look like him? Probably not. I'm gonna put them on a really low heat. We're gonna let them sit for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna add in the tiniest bit of this. Can you see that? This is actually latte mix, but I really like it. It's basically a little bit of cacao, a little bit of agave powder, a little bit of ginger root, a little bit of cinnamon. It's just amazing. And it makes the apples taste incredible. But you don't have to add anything if you don't want to, but I like a bit of cinnamon on my apples and stuff. Ladies and hun buns, I'm adding some raisins in because I like a couple of raisins stewed in there too. Terrible angle, but I think apple, raisin and cinnamon are the best. They're the best combination. You just wait. For anyone like me who's got a sweet tooth, I know apples are really sweet anyway, but I like it really sweet because basically I'm going to stew this, add into my porridge, add into overnight oats, add into on pancakes. It's 
unbelievable i mean i wish you could it smells like a beautiful non-alcoholic mulled wine this has been going for about 20 minutes now and i'm gonna put it on for another 15 minutes this isn't a quick breakfast so i've now just got this pan on and i'm gonna start making my oats my milk which is the almond and i'm just about to break the tripod it's wonderful almond milk unsweetened and this is hit and miss angels you never know how much but i normally add more milk less oats well that's obvious well done i literally put my oats on for about 20 minutes here we go some mixed golden flaxseed with chia seed and hemp seed it thickens it up and also makes it like a little bit of a chia pudding it's so nice and it's also amazing for you this stuff is unbelievable like it actually makes me go for a toilet break <laughs> it actually makes me go the other way you know helps me go to the uh poo and I'm just going to stir it. By the way, a little bit of apple just fell in there. It's wonderful. So I've just put the apple back in there. When you cook porridge for a longer time, it's actually better for your stomach to digest. And if you do have digestion problems like me, it's much better to make your porridge sit for a while. I know we don't always have loads of time. We'll break down in your body quicker if they're more... I don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's better to make your porridge sit for a while. Adding the tiniest bit of vanilla into my porridge because I've got a sweet tooth and I like it quite sweet. Thank you, lovely hun. I'm just gonna pour it into a bowl. I like a lot of porridge. <laughs> oh God, I thought I did more for two, but let's just get it all in one. And then with my apples, which look divine, I'm just gonna scoop in drop them on i mean i should have used a clean spoon but it doesn't matter it all tastes the same look at those sultanas and the apple honestly and if you have any left over put that in the fridge for overnight oats leave it overnight and it's unbelievable really rubbishy tripod there so i really apologize i think you're about to slip back at some point but i'm just gonna cheer on the sofa oh my god we match how cute i love breakfast also i should be sitting at a table because it's probably better but what to do in quarantine i don't like getting the dinner table out basically we have a dinner table you have to fold up but i'm just chilling so i'm just gonna eat this and love my life I added a bit of sweetener, by the way, as well. Mm. Honestly, I have no idea. Gluten-free oats are amazing. We love a gluten-free meal. Also, this is a healthy morning meal because if you don't add sweetener or anything like that, but it's apples, it's sultanas, it's fresh, it's porridge, and also it's going to set you out throughout the day. So, I love this meal. Angels, it's mid-morning and I've brushed my hair, I've washed my face, still haven't put any makeup on yet, but hopefully I'm making you feel better about your life because I look like trash no i'm fine i look fine i have actually realized though it is mid-morning and i haven't brushed my teeth yeah yeah i'm a mistake so i wanted to make a coffee because i like a little snack with a little coffee it's very nice and i want to show you how i make my coffee because i'm cute you're cute let's be cute together you just talk about this by the way this is unbelievable if you don't have a lot of budget like me and you still want frothy foam this is unbelievable i'll link it in the description but i've literally raved about this hot foam cold foam and hot milk unbelievable it also foams up dairy free milk my coffee i like to take this one which is the oat milk rude health it's gluten free a lot of oat milks aren't gluten free but this one is it's a little bit expensive but oat milk really creates that creamy sort of really whole milk kind of vibe it's just amazing oat milk is so creamy i love it lovely oh that's all we've got for the moment huns there you go we're running out <gasps> no then I'm just going to press one for the first setting because we want the hot foam. Then while that's on, I'm going to take my coffee. This is Little's Ethiopian Premium Instant Coffee. This one tastes unbelievable. It's got like a hint of dark chocolate in it and I love it so much. I got it from Holland and Barrett. So I'm just going to take two teaspoons in there like so and then i'm gonna take the rest of my sweetener because i've run out i like this one stevia sweet because i feel like it tastes quite sugary and a lot of them taste a bit funny and a lot of them have funny aftertaste and this one doesn't then i also got this one from holland barrett this is the liquid stevia drop sweetener in the caramel flavor i'm obsessed i like that kind of coffee that tastes a bit dark chocolatey a little bit caramelly sometimes i'll have a vanilla one but there she goes today then i'm just gonna take a teaspoon of hot water and another one and then mix that all in a lot of people have been creating that tiktok coffee but i haven't got the time or the patience and i don't have the wrist power if i had an electric whisk i'd do that i mean look at that that is foamy that's foamed up considering my oat milk doesn't have gluten so it doesn't really make the foaminess that an oat milk normally does but the moment of truth she's going in my little hun bun oh there she goes there she goes give me all the foam and i'll normally just scoop out the foam as 
as well. So easy to wash as well. You literally just rinse those two bits and you're done. Also with this coffee, you can make it with so many different milks. I make it with almond milk sometimes as well. I just like the way oat milk is, but you can add ice into it and you can put it in the fridge. It's amazing with ice because it's a nice coffee at home with foam. I love it so much. And you can use the cold milk setting on that. I just love it. I think it's amazing. Look at the foam. Oh my God. It's hot. I probably shouldn't have put it in a glass, but I thought it'd be really cute and Instagrammable, although this is actually not nice to hold. However, I wanted to show you the foam because in a mug, you couldn't see the foam, could you? Then for my next little snack with the coffee, I actually kept this because I wanted to show you, but I've eaten the whole bar. This is from Enjoy and oh my goodness, it's unbelievable. It's dairy-free, organic, soya-free, no refined sugar, gluten-free, raw cacao. This one is the vanilla caramel, 70% cacao. Unbelievable. I'll link everything I can find down below in the description so if you want to go and check out any of the food i'm eating but it's just coconut sugar cacao butter raw cacao powder and coconut oil and it's unbelievable but today i'm treating myself to this this is nomo no missing out i only found that out a couple of weeks ago which is absolutely awful vegan and free from dairy gluten egg and nuts and we love it we love it and this dark chocolate's not that dark i don't like really dark chocolate so I'm going to take a little slab there. Love my little life. Have my coffee. Mm. Oh my god, that's such a good coffee. That's such a good coffee. And my chocolate's like melting in my mouth. Putting on a hot water bottle because I don't feel very well. So here we go. Really helps me and I do it so many times throughout the day. This is my saviour. I'm in pain. It's going to help. Hello angels. So it's lunchtime. Please don't ask about the makeup. I've just filmed something for Instagram. I really actually really like it. It's very out there. I've got semi-dressed. I mean, I've got a top that's see-through and some joggers, which are dirty. It's better than nothing. It's better than what I looked like this morning. We're going to make lunch. I'm very excited. We are going to be doing a super healthy, amazing omelette. If you don't eat eggs, and there are lots of different egg substitutes, you can make this with tofu. I only eat turkey, chicken, and fish. So I'm not going to have any ham in my omelette, but you can have ham. You know, whatever you want. Let's get doing omelette. There we go. I've got my husband behind the camera. He loves it. Do you want one of these? Yes, please. Oh, mate, you want Okay. So this, by the way, I'll try and find one similar and link it down below. This is, oh, this is on and it's still got cheese on it from the other day. Wonderful. Brilliant. This is my channel. I'm an absolute mess. The smoke detector is probably going to go off in a minute. Anyway, this omelet maker is the best thing ever. So we are going to go and get our three eggs. Lovely here. We're going to crack them into this little beaker that's stained. It is actually clean. After you crack the eggs, wash your hands. At least you don't have to preserve the yolks. It's lovely. So I'm just going to whisk up the eggs like that. I'm going to add some salt. Whatever taste you kind of like. A lot of people add crushed chilies into their omelette. This maker is just unbelievable. I'm going to add the tiniest bit of paprika because it just makes it a little bit sweeter. There we go. Put it all over my hands. Lovely. Spencer's put that there to cover our awful top. Anyway, we love frozen veg. It's so amazing. It's so easy to use. And also this cooks frozen veg. So I'm just going to take a handful of onions. I like spring onions, normal onions, red onions. Then I'm going to take some mushrooms. Again, these are beautiful because they just cook naturally so in there. So are you. You. I love you. It's the makeup. There we go. Some more shrews. Take a little bit of kale because it's all health, you know, all health. Health is wealth. And Curly that. kale. Curly kale. Then I'm going to take this original flavour grated vegan cheese, free from dairy, soya, gluten, lactose, nuts, and preservatives. I love this and it does actually melt really well. I will say one thing if you put a jacket potato in the oven or a jacket sweet potato and you want this to melt, spray it the tiniest bit with like a fry light or something like that and it makes it cook even better. I like quite a lot of cheese. Obviously, you can put whatever you want in your omelette. And then we're just going to whisk it all together. It looks disgusting right now. Like, what? But it will actually taste nice, I promise. I'm just going to put some of it on this. And also, I forgot, but you should spray it with a little bit of spray. Lovely. And then just over here, we're just going to chuck her in as well. Ten minutes. Just keep checking it. Perfect. Oh, look at them, my hands. They look so good. So good. So I've got another turmeric tea, which I like to have with my lunch, and I've served it with a little bit of avocado. I've garnished it with a little bit more salt and pepper. I love avocado, and this is going to do me very nicely. It looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat it. Bon appetit. Hey, Angel, so you can probably hear the washing machine on and all sorts, but after lunch, after about an hour and a half before I eat dinner, I like to have a little pre-dinner snack, and the snack is going to be this. These are positively wretched. However, I make them taste nice. These are the Nush Dairy Free Almond Milk Yogurt. This is blueberry. A lot of people like these, but I don't really like them. Vegan cultures, creamy dairy free almond, fr almond milk, dairy free, gluten free, and vegan. But there's just a lack of 
sweetener for me. I think they're healthy and I think that's why I don't like them because I like yogurts that taste like a sweetener. I take my bowl of freshly washed blueberries and raspberries. I'm gonna add the yogurt in like this and then you're gonna think this is weird, very weird. I'm gonna take some caramel sweetener drop. It literally gives it a bit of flavor and then I just drop it in like so. You're gonna be like, what are you doing Imogen? I know, I know it's weird. Then this is gonna get even weirder because you're gonna be like, what the hell? If you've never done this in your life, then you are missing a trick. I take, oh, the washing machine's about to take off. I take the raspberries and I start mushing them against the sides so they become like that. And it makes this beautiful raspberry sort of puree and it mixes into the yogurt. And honestly, like this, like this, you'll see it at the end. Now, angels, you might think this looks awful, but I cannot explain to you how nice it is. The raspberry is just so beautiful. I take it back. I take it back. It's not that bad a yogurt. It's really hard to find a good dairy-free yogurt that hasn't got soya in. But this is just so nice. When you mash up the raspberries, oh, you get bits of raspberry. Oh, so good, so good. I promise you, you might be judging me now. You work till you try it. It's gonna change your life. Any yogurt, put some raspberries and blueberries in. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's see when they're all mashed up. Oh, everyone's probably watching this like you're so weird. I am, and I love it. <laughs> So, my beautiful angels, I've taken off my makeup, I'm chilling, I'm back to baby princess. Half of this video, no, more than half this video, I've looked horrendous, but it's fine. So, we are now going to make dinner. I'm going to make a really nice, healthy pasta dish, which tastes amazing. You can have a vegan option, or you can have it with salmon that I'm going to have. I can't wait to show you it, so let's get cooking. So, angels, first of all, I've got the tomatoes. We don't have many tomatoes left, because we haven't been shopping, but we're just making do with what we've got. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil and drench it in there like that. And I'm also going to take a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. This is honestly going to be such a healthy, amazing pasta dish and it's a really good way of cramming all your veg in but also staying healthy and it's really easy to make because if I can make it, you can make it. I'm going to pop this in the oven now for about 15 minutes and I'll come back. What temperature? I don't know. <laughs> 180. <laughs> Go on, get it in there, girl. What's up next, chef? Next up, chef. Oh, my sous chef there. I'm gonna take some diced onions. I'm lazy, but these are amazing as well, especially during this time. Our diced onions from, you can get them from Iceland, anywhere. And I'm just gonna add them into the mix now. I like quite a lot of onions. The tomatoes have been sitting. They look really soggy and nice. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Then I'm also gonna take some sliced peppers. I was gonna say one thing. If you are vegan, you don't have to have the salmon. You can literally have this meal, just pasta and the veg, because the tomatoes make this beautiful tomato -y paste. And it's basically like a really healthy version of a tomato pasta, but also you're getting veg in there and add cheese. I normally add vegan cheese and it's amazing. So I'm just gonna add my peppers again. These are from Asda, frozen veg. We have literally rinsed the frozen veg, haven't we? Because it's so easy and also it's just amazing. It Fro looks frozen veg is good. Sorry, I don't have an amazing kitchen. I'm just renting a property, so this isn't going to be aesthetically pleasing, but hopefully, you like my food. Cut up some asparagus, and I've also cut up some broccoli. Just going to add this like this. We don't have veg enough, so these are really good ways of slotting in some veg. Also, kale. Oh my god, amazing. Adding some kale into the mix like that. Kale's really good for you, and the more veg, the better for you know your digestive system then i'm just going to take these salmon fillets and lay the salmon on top like so i'm gonna wash my hands because i'm touching raw fish i love you guys and i really hope you like my food because i know i'm not an amazing cook but for any of my dairy free gluten free baby girls out there also i give you vegan options because you don't have to add the salmon you can add tofu to this dish you can add whatever you want i take a little bit more of the olive oil like this you can add coconut oil but we've actually run out so we're making do with what we've got i'm just gonna take a bit more salt like this and a little bit of pepper you've got to season it you know hans you know and i'm gonna put this in for another 15 20 minutes and while the tomatoes bake and then we're gonna do the pasta we're so excited i love this and i've also got spencer here to help me film which is amazing so away from the back of the camera <laughs> so angels it is bubbling underneath there i've just put this on and i'm gonna put some pasta in this is vegan gluten-free pasta fusilli i quite like fusilli i also like linguine i'm not really a massive fan of spaghetti i never know how much to put in so i'm just gonna pour some in and... well, i've got an idea have you why don't you pour it into the bowl we're gonna have and then you know how much pasta no because pasta gets bigger baby yeah so we'll just do like half a bowl maybe well you want a bigger bowl than this won't you I'll just do a whole bowl. Yeah. No, you're gonna want loads. You love loads. I'll pop that one in. I'll do. 
I reckon we need more. We need more. You yeah, but there's two of us, so you're gonna have to do like double. Double. Yeah. I personally think this looks amazing. If you don't want to have the pasta and you don't want to have the carbs, then you can just eat it like this and serve it. It's honestly so tasty and incredible. Honestly, I think it looks amazing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a pan over here and I'm gonna let this sit and we are gonna start cooking our sauce. It would be easier if I could just lift it up and put it in, but then I just put the salmon in that dish and now I'm just gonna put all of the remaining broccoli and the asparagus and the kale into this mix as well. Then I'm gonna give it a stir and make sure those tomatoes are all pressed in. So I'm sort of mashing the tomatoes. Can you see that? Okay. No, baby, you don't need to film me. I love you. Film the, film the food, film the food. They don't care about me. They, so they know what's going on. Then I'm gonna take the Healthier Choice Basilico. This is amazing. There's no added sugar in it. Vegan friendly, gluten free, zero air miles, reduced salt and no added sugar. I find that a lot of tomato basil sauces, they have a lot of sugar in. So I'm just gonna shake it a bit. I don't put too much in because I can't have too much tomato stuff. Then I'm gonna take this, which is balsamic glaze. It just gives it a really nice taste and texture. And then we're gonna make our sauce and add the pasta, have the salmon, love our lives. And there we have it. If you didn't wanna have the salmon, you could have it with vegan cheese, which is amazing. But honestly, I'm obsessed with this dish. It is so tasty, hearty, healthy. And I really hope you enjoy it because me and my husband are gonna devour it now. And we're just watching MasterChef during dinner. Lovely. Not sad tears, my wife is an amazing person. Yay! She should be on that. <laughs> So I've just finished dinner and I know I should let it go down but I'm already hungry for dessert like does anyone else feel that? Apparently you're meant to leave at 20 minutes and then you don't get those cravings but here I am having my Starburst. My favourites are the reds and the oranges. They're actually vegan by the way Starburst. They don't have any gelatin. Gelatin? Yeah. They're vegan. I love Starburst. They're so so nice and also they really give me like a sugar hit straight after food so hopefully these little four Starbursts are gonna do the trick. Probably not because we've got loads of puddings. <laughs> so I just had a bit of anxiety after food and just felt really bad so we just went out on the balcony and just watched the sunset and it was amazing sometimes after food i like to cram too much in and then i feel sick i've always got my hot water bottle straight after dinner because i start to get pains and i've taken my medication and i've got another turmeric tea i'm also going to make a smoothie later which i can't wait to show you but I'm sorry, but if no one else does this, then I'm taking one for the team. I am about to demolish an Easter egg. I will have the whole Easter egg as well. I've got this one, vegan and free from Nomo, no missing out again. And it is free from dairy, gluten, egg, and nuts. And this is the caramel and sea salt flavor. I've already had the plain one. When is Easter, pup? Now, but apparently. There you go, it's now. We're about to have a party in the, in the place. You know that. I'm so excited. Oh my God, let's open this together. Oh, so you get one egg and one bar. I like to have my main treat before it gets too late and then I have a smoothie later on. So my main treats are an Easter egg. I love Easter eggs. Does anyone else like Easter eggs more than the actual chocolate? It's like when I used to be able to eat dairy, I really liked Malteser celebrations and Snicker celebrations, but I didn't necessarily like Maltesers. It's because they're small and I like Easter eggs. Wow. Because it's thin chocolate and I love thin chocolate. Oh my God, so I'm in heaven. There's a party in my mouth. I'm getting excited. Do you love how much of a contradiction I am? I'm eating a whole Easter egg, but I'm chilling with my hot water bottle and chilling with my turmeric tea. Basically, I'm a mess. Mm, and I love it. Hello, and welcome back to our kitchen. Yes, very exciting. So, we're currently watching a film on Disney+, Plus, which we love. And we are now gonna make a smoothie because smoothies are our evening snack after eating chocolate and stuff. This is the pre-bed snack. I mean, we don't stop snacking, but this is the love of my life. I have these throughout the day, but I wanted to show you this one. I've been having some with spinach. I've been having mango ones. I've been having loads of different ones. I've been having peanut butter and banana ones and cacao. But today we are gonna be making the acai one. I normally take frozen vegetables, but these are out of date today. They haven't got mold on them, but obviously no waste right now. So I'm gonna add all these in. Lots of berries for me and my baby prince. You know, you know. Frozen fruits. Frozen fruits. Did I say what I say? Frozen vegetables. No, I didn't. Yeah. I normally take frozen berries, mm. not vegetables. I'm gonna take some dates, chuck some dates in there. We are gonna take the almond unsweetened unroasted. It's new and it smells so much like marzipan. I'm actually obsessed with it. This is one I prepared earlier. These are frozen bananas, and I take about three bananas for me and Spencer. Frozen bananas, you know, isn't it? if you want a healthy dessert, frozen bananas in a blender, little bit of milk, 
it is frozen banana ice cream. No, it's banana ice cream, it's unreal. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this. Everything, by the way, that I use that's a little bit like you wouldn't necessarily find it in a supermarket, I will definitely let you know about it. This is the Sambazon frozen scoopable acai, dairy-free, vegan, gluten-free, and organic. Do your little song then. Acai, I can see myself acai over there as well, I'm looking away. I'm on, the, I'm on the picture frame behind you. Are you? Yeah. Hello, okay. eagle eyes. <laughs> so I'm just going to whack in some acai. I mean, it's, it is expensive, so we don't like to use too much. I do want mm. to get some acai powder powder because it's better and it goes a lot further. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not taking frozen vegetables or frozen berries, I'm going to take a little bit of some Can rice. I just add that? I wasn't actually trying to correct you because you said it. I was a bit oh, like... No, I got you. Don't worry, maybe. I was like, maybe, um, maybe that's just like, like the truth. So. No, I got you. There we go. Chuck it a little bit in there. So I'm we've got some settings on there. We're going to yeah, talk through have. the settings. We're going to go on smoothie and we're going to go on auto. Auto. Here we go then. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we are back Here with a pouring. Here goes. Wow. Well, Wowza. Oh my god. Eco-friendly, lovely little straw there with a little bit of hair yep. on. Wonderful. Lovely, lovely. Look at that, and people. And one for my baby Prince. Lovely. And we'll top baby Gyal up a little bit. We'd actually oh. like to open up our own smoothie shop. Oh so my god, it'd be amazing. We'd love to. What would we call it? I don't know. Hasai <laughs> This is me in my jungle rainforest. Here she goes. And this is un... Mm, unreal. Mm. I normally add chia seeds and flax seeds and stuff like that to this. However, I have found it's given me a lot of tummy pain when I go to bed when I have chia seeds too late at night. So I've been just having it in my porridge and not having it in this, but this is such a sweet, nice treat, but it's also healthy and really good for you. And acai berry has so much antioxidants in it and it's got so many goodness for you. So much goodness for you. I can't even get my words out, but I just want to say thank you so much to every single person who's watched this video. I will link everything in the description that you want to go and see. I really am so grateful for you guys and I have so many other recipes. Like we have such amazing different foods that's gluten dairy wheat free and i think it's been a really good day my stomach hasn't been really bad so i've been really positive today so make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button i'd be so grateful if you want me to do more what i eat in a day is for anyone out there who is struggling like me with a stomach condition or a chronic illness or just because you like my recipes then let me know i know i'm not the best cook in the world but hopefully one day i'll have a better kitchen in my own house and i'll be able to do more videos like this for you so you join our family of hunt. there you go Make sure you let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you. And I'm gonna leave you. Wow, he heard that from the kitchen. I'm very proud that you heard that. <laughs> he didn't hear that. I love you. Bye. So, they're just taking a massive, massive turn. I spoke too soon last night, said that my stomach was okay, and it's not okay. I've been up for the last three hours. It's 3 13 in the morning. I'm in agony. For anyone that's phobic, I will not speak about it, but I'm about to be very, very ill. I don't want to turn the light on. I'm in so much pain. I think I ate too much of everything, and it was quite rich for my stomach, and I am in agony. I'm going to have to wake Spence Rocks. I'm in so much pain. Like, it's just constant. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm in so much pain.